I welcome in the donkey and the angel, Numbers 22. The Moabites were worried. The Israelites had camped nearby and the Moabites feared that if they met Israel in battle, Moab would be destroyed. Their king Balak sent word to a prophet named Balaam to place a curse on the Israelites. Balaam earned a living making prophecies and placing curses or blessings for money. When the messenger came to fetch Balaam, the prophet asked God what he should do. God said that he must not curse the Israelites for they were blessed by him. So Balaam told the messengers to go back. Balak sent more messengers and offered more money. Balaam said that he couldn't help but told them to spend the night and he would speak again to God, even though God had already said no. That night, God told, told Balaam he could go, but must say exactly what he was told to say. So the next morning, Balaam set off on his donkey. Along the way, the donkey suddenly shied off the road, for an angel stood blocking the way. Balaam could not see it and tried to force the donkey to go on. When it lay down, he began beating it. Then God made the donkey speak. Why are you beating me? It asked. Startled, Balaam replied, because you are making a fool out of me. Then God opened his eyes so that now he too could see the angel standing in the road. Balaam fell to his knees in fright. God told him to go all, God told him to go to the king and speak only the words that God put in his mouth. In Moab, to the king's horror, Balaam blessed the Israelites instead of cursing them and warned that Israel's enemies would be conquered and Moab would be crushed.